Hey everybody, it's Senor Smoke from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Welcome to Riding with Smoke. Um, today's question, why would I buy a Napoleon Grill over a Weber? Um, simple answer, the feature set, and for the most part, they're built better. Let's take a Weber Genesis and a Weber Summit and compare them to a Napoleon Prestige and Pro Prestige. The Weber Genesis at one point was an absolute killer, iconic gas grill, okay? Um, they revised it a number of years ago. I don't remember how many it was, maybe seven, six, something like that. And um, I think the consensus opinion on the revised Genesis was a pretty um, staunch thumbs down. Um, the Genesis would go up against the Napoleon Prestige. Similar price points. Um, the great thing about the Napoleon also is that they don't have all of these different SKUs uh, like Weber does, which, which confuses matters. But when you have a Weber Genesis in my showroom next to a Napoleon P500, I don't have to say anything. The customer simply has to go up to the both of them and fiddle around and it's a Napoleon sale. So I am not selling off Weber. The reason my Weber business is meager at best is uh, simply because it can't compete with the features and the build of said Napoleon. Um, if you're going to take the Genesis and you're going to compare it to the P500, the P500 is going to have um, the interior lighting. The P500 is going to have the wave grates, the P5, which are very, very important, by the way. The P500 is going to have the outboard sear burner, an ingenious, ingenious feature that even our friends in the high-end grill category don't do, and they should. They should. The P500 is also going to have, in my opinion, once you lift the lid up and down, a more robust build. It's also built in North America, north of the border in Canada. It's not coming from overseas like the Genesis. Uh, to further my point, when I have customers come in that are replacing those fantastic older Weber Genesis models. And these are folks that have owned them for like 15 years and they finally went, okay? Which is a testament to the way the Genesis used to be built. Um, they will come in, I'm replacing my Weber Genesis. I mean, literally I have like hundreds of people a year that open up with that, that, that uh, sentence. I'm replacing my Weber Genesis. Well, let's go take a look at the current Weber Genesis. Just understand they're not, they're different than what you have at your house right now. And then what they'll do is they will go over to the Napoleon. We will direct them there or they'll just bump into it. Oh, I saw the commercial during an MLB game and um, it, the, the, the sale is, it's done. Like there's just no, the only way the Weber Genesis will still be sold at this point, if it's just some diehard who loves the brand and wants to stick with the family and that's it. Now, if we move it up a notch and then we're gonna go to the high end for both of these uh, brands and we're gonna look at the Napoleon Pro Prestige and we could look at the Pro 500, the Pro 665, or the Pro A25, and we're gonna go put that against the Summit 470 and 670 Genesis, I'm sorry, Summit, <laughs> you know, it's lights out. And I understand that the Summit has been retooled and is being, you know, it's being re-released. Okay, it's still, that's great, it's great, but it's still not gonna touch the Pro Prestige. So let's get into the differences over here. Once again, the Weber Summit does not offer a true infrared sear burner. It has a sear zone, which is two burners squished next to one another to create more heat. The Pro Prestige models, once again, use the outboard infrared burner. This time, the grate 
is stainless steel as opposed to the cast aluminum that you find on the Prestige series. The Pro Prestige models will also, on the right wing, offer you a cutting board or a compartment to go put ice and your favorite libation in. That is not available on a Weber. They have the side burner, which nine times out of 10, people tell me I've never used it. So to me, that's a waste. The Napoleon also has a, what I call their design integrity, which is the way that the grill is built from the bottom up or top down. In my humble opinion, the Napoleon Pro Prestige models can operate in the same space and can be mentioned in the same breath as pretty much any high-end grill that I can think of, high-end gas grill. Not at that price point. Yes, they don't have other features that the high-end gas grills have, but you go to a Napoleon Pro Prestige and you open that lid and you open the doors and touch the shelves um, and you look at the way the thing ignites, I'm telling you, it can run with any of the other ones. You pick up that hood and it doesn't do that side-to-side -side wobble. That says a lot about the way the thing is built. Design integrity, a famous, lovely term that I like to use when talking about the construction of these products. The Summit, while it does have a heavier hood than anything else in the Weber family, just doesn't have what the Pro Prestige models offer in that sense. I also know that the Webers were more expensive. The 470 was more expensive than the Pro 500 Napoleon, and the 670 at a time was more expensive than the Pro 665. And oh yes, by the way, Napoleon has recently had a price drop to take advantage of. I believe that Weber is an iconic American brand right up there with the likes of say Harley Davidson, Fender Guitars, and others. There is potential for a great comeback with this iconic American company, but they need to get their shit straightened out. Napoleon is a great competitor. Look at what they're doing. Study it. Improve upon it. That is the beautiful thing about competition. Look at Napoleon's best qualities. Don't necessarily copy them, but maybe get inspired by them and extend them to make them better. Food for thought. Anyway, if you have any questions about Napoleon grills or you want to buy one, we ship them nationally. Email me, questions at rofgrills.com or call us at 914-341-1837. Thank you for allowing me to burn about 10 to 15 minutes on my car ride home, and I hope this helped you. Peace.